Hi, my name's Thomasina Myers and I'm a cook and I love travelling. I love to go to a country and go to the markets and I love to see what the locals are eating. I like to wander around shopping for amazing ingredients like these incredible chilies, local garlic, herbs, fresh fruit and vegetables. I love to get a holiday home rental with my husband, with friends, with kids and really get stuck into the local flavours. And today I'm going to cook a grilled steak with a chimichurri salsa which is going to be quick and easy but packed with local flavour. This recipe is inspired from my travels around the Americas and it's so delicious. It's a really, really simple marinade and I'm going to grill the steak with this wonderful punchy marinade and then we're going to have a wonderful salsa on top. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my garlic in the pestle and mortar. Just bash the cloves with your pestle and that will release the skin. So now that I've got my garlic in there, I want to season it. Salt some freshly ground black pepper, smoked paprika, which is a great, great spice. I'm going to add a good teaspoon of smoked paprika in there and cumin, a wonderful spice that they use all over the Americas. Of course, I wouldn't cook anything on a barbecue without a few chilies in. I'm just going to crumble them into the pestle and mortar, like so, with some thyme, lots of lovely fresh thyme. Now I'm just going to bash it around. Now, of course, if you don't have a pestle and mortar in your kitchen, you can just finely chop all the ingredients and you'll just get exactly the same result. So now that I've got all this ground up, I can add the juice of a lemon, some extra virgin olive oil. It's going to stir that in. And all we have to do now is pour this over the steak, marinate it overnight, preferably, but if you don't have time, just for a couple of hours. And here's one I made earlier. Now for the salsa. So first of all, I've got here a good bunch of coriander and parsley, and I'm just going to chop it up. I'm going to add them to my pestle and mortar. Now in this pestle and mortar, I've got pretty much the same ingredients have gone into the marinade. To all this, I'm going to add my coriander and my parsley that's chopped up, and some vinegar, and this is sherry vinegar, but you can use red wine as well, and extra virgin olive oil. Not only for the silkiness, but for the flavour. Just give that a stir. And the salsa is ready. It really doesn't take any more time than that. So my meat's been marinating only for a couple of hours, actually, but it's always best overnight. And my char grill is searingly hot and in it goes. And we're going to cook it for about four minutes aside because it's quite thick steak. While my steak's cooking, I'm just going to dress a bit of salad, a bit of lemon juice, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. Very, very simple garnish. And look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Lovely char grilled. So my steaks are cooked and they're smelling delicious. My salad, which I'm just going to pop there on the side. Got some of that delicious salsa there. It really packs a punch. And you can see the way you can transform your holiday into a creative, fun process and eat such great food full of local flavour. And the next recipe I'm going to cook takes me back to Italy with a wonderful recipe for caramelised figs with a lavender honey. This recipe is inspired by someone's holidays in Italy with figs and it goes so well with the grilled steak. And it's a really, really simple recipe. All I'm doing here is crisscrossing the bottom of the figs so that when I cook them in the pan, they're not going to burst open. And there's something about figs that I just love. I think it was, must have been my last holiday in Greece. We rented a cottage and outside our bedroom, there was this beautiful fig tree and every morning we'd pick figs straight from the tree and they were so juicy. They just dripped with this kind of honey nectar. Absolutely wonderful. I don't think I've ever looked at figs the same way. And I'm just going to pop some butter in a pan. Now you want quite a lot of butter here, nothing too healthy. And to the butter I'm going to add the flavour of cinnamon and some honey. So I'm going to put quite a lot of this honey in, about six tablespoons. So you want to get that butter really melted in and we want to sizzle it all up because we want a really thick syrupy caramel so that's bubbling away now all I'm going to do is pop my figs in the pan and while this syrup is cooking the figs I'm just spooning it over the tops of them so they all get nicely covered so now you can see here that my caramel is really getting dark at the edges and that's what you're looking for. You want that darkness to cut through the sweetness of the honey. And I'm going to scoop out these figs. 
Now we're going to add the juice of a lemon. I'm just going to stir that lemon juice in. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it over the figs. Doesn't that look decadent? And there we are. What could be more simple and more delicious than that? A plate of caramelised figs, seasonal Mediterranean sun-soaked figs. Delicious serve with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or some local cream from the dairies. So there we are, two fantastic recipes from people's holidays all over the world. And now if you want to get similar ideas like this, go to the travel cookbook at homeaway.co.uk and pick up some wonderful ideas so that you can cook up a storm on your next holiday.